Hi, this is Kim Clark, and I'm coming to you today again with a reading from my 30-day devotional, Deep Waters Lift Your Gaze. Right now, you can grab a sample or you can pre-order your copies. It's buy one, get one free. It's in hardcover and in paperback. Yay! So I'm reading to you today from day four. And the title of day four's reading is Trust Me, which I think could be applicable to us all right now as we're facing a global pandemic. The scripture I have is trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. The interrogation started as soon as Will and Zicky, missionaries from Zambia, got into my car. Are we going to Epcot? Did you get the fast passes? Are we riding Sorn again? With a stoic smile, I responded, no, I found something better. Eyes wide, they scoffed. Better than Soren? I don't believe it. Absolutely. With a teasing tone, I added, and you will repent after going on this ride. They grunted in disbelief, crossed their arms over their chest with their heads shaking. Each time they came to visit, I delighted in creating a fun-filled reprieve from their hectic schedules. Will, a senior pastor of a large church and a busy principal, of a pastor's college, also planted churches in rural Africa. Zicky served as the headmistress of a large elementary school for hundreds of hungry orphans who ate only one meal a day, the one they received at school. As we weaved our way through the sea of people at Animal Kingdom, they reveled in my action-packed park itinerary. They were shocked, shocked at the lack of fencing around the wild animals on the safari, screamed in delight from the lurching dinosaur ride and rode a roller coaster backwards for the first time. After all these activities, Will then declared, that was amazing, I repent. Smiling, I shook my head. Nope, not yet. We have one last ride. As we bypassed the three hour standby line and walked up to the entrance of the most popular ride in the world, I grinned mischievously. The attendant looked at me. Is this their first time? I nodded. She smiled slyly and told them, you're not going to believe it. They gasped in awe of the virtual reality headgear as the motorcycle shaped seats conformed to their lower bodies. During the six minute multi-sense immersive experience, I giggled at their squeals of delight. The wind, water sprays and smells simulated soaring through lush mountain ranges, misty waterfalls and a glistening and glistening caves full of crystal stalactites on a beautiful yet graceful giant winged dragon. After the ride came to the end, Will declared in his loudest preaching voice to everyone within earshot, I repent! Zicky ran over to kiss me. As we exited the ride, their excitement bubbled out of them like a geyser. They couldn't stop laughing, thanking me and hugging me. Aren't we just like that? Don't we doubt God when he's actively working in our lives? Will and Zicky's Initial response to change reminded me of my own lack of faith when things aren't going as I had planned. God then spoke, spoke to my heart, stop biting me and demanding that I repeat the past, the known. Trust me to bring you into the unknown, for I know what is best. Dear God, draw near those of us who are struggling to trust you with our, all of our heart. Help us lean not on our own understanding. Have us have us acknowledge and declare you as our creator, generous and merciful King and God. Make our path straight as we submit to your will to be done in our lives. Give us the grace to trust you with the unknown, for you know what is best. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Again, that was from my devotional, Deep Waters Lift Your Gaze. It's now available for pre-sale and you can grab a sample on my website, www.kimmclark.com backslash Devo. Take care, be safe, stay healthy.